The next step is just to check that we've entered the customer and supplier opening balances correctly. If you haven't entered any other transactions other than opening balances, all you need to do is on the transaction date criteria is to enter your opening balance date. So the date you entered at the beginning of the opening balance wizard, which in our example is the 31st of March 2016. Rather than select it from the calendar, we'll just type it in this time and then click OK. This produces three reports. The first is the age debtor analysis, which is a list of our customers and their outstanding balances. The second report is the age creditor analysis, which is a list of our suppliers and their outstanding balances. And the third report is the period trial balance, which just lists the nominal codes that currently have a balance based on the opening balances that we've entered so far, which is just the balances against customers and suppliers. If you need to print or maybe save these reports, you can even email them as well. You've got options in the top left corner. In this example, we're just going to close out of the reports. So we just click close a few times. We then return to the opening balances list and the option is flagged as complete. Now do take time to check those opening balances. You do want to get them right first time. So just check those reports against the opening balances just to make sure that what you've entered is actually correct.